On Tuesday night, Hip Hop DX had the honor of hosting the book release for Ben Westhoff's original Gangsters at the Ace Hotel in downtown Los Angeles. The book tells the story of the birth of West Coast rap. Greg Mack of the radio station K-Day and legendary DJ Krista Glove were on site for a panel discussion and Q&A, moderated by yours truly, Justin Hunt. Here's some of the mind grapes dropped that night. The major record stores at that time refused to carry rap. The uh, mom and pops were getting rich because of it. Little small stores, the Rodian Swap Meet and Slauson Swap Meet and all the other places. Uh, I was getting resentment from parents because the parents were like, oh no, you know, you're not gonna play that song and it's got these bad words. And so I would make the rappers actually change the words. By the mid 80s, hip hop, with aggressive sounding backing tracks was in full force in New York. Here, in LA, the party vibe marched on. A faster paced, heavily synthesized, electro dance DJ sound with vocoder altered robotic vocals still ruled dance floors. Justin Hunt here with Ben Westhoff, author of Original Gangsters. From your point of view, how'd you feel the, uh, the event went today? I thought it was great. Um, we also had Greg Mack, who's the godfather of hip-hop radio, and Chris the Glove Taylor, who's been through all the history of LA hip-hop. He's been there, so it went great. Yeah, all sorts of people came out of the woodwork. It was like D Barnes, Terry B, DJ Speed, clientele, all these people who are in the book and who are awesome artists. Yeah, I mean, for those who haven't seen this yet, this is one of the most comprehensive looks at West Coast hip hop. I said so. I enjoyed every every page of this. I also think this is your best work. How was, your, how was this process for you putting this project together? Well, it took a long time. It was like five years, basically, that I, that I worked on it, starting with the interviews. And then, um, you know, I interviewed more than 100 people, and I tried to really get all sides of the story and you know from not just the music but sort of the personal stuff the beefs the um, you know the gang stuff all the way through the East Coast West Coast War and um, all the amazing albums that came out of it all. I met Ice-T the, the night that they named me the club, same night. Yeah. We are here with the club, legendary. Yes sir, what's up West Coast? Man you are all over the, this book here, how'd you feel about this event? I thought it was a great event. I thought the turnout was fantastic. I love the support. I love the colors, you know what I mean? It's not just a black story, it's a story. Do you feel like a legend? Does it feel like you were at the forefront of something that's affected so many people? You were talking like you kind of, it kind of didn't seem like it was a big deal at the time. You were just kids having fun. What's it feel like now? Wow, all the accolades. I just got an award from the state of California for being a DJ. Just being myself, yeah, it's starting to feel weird. <laughs> but yeah, I love it, man. I like the fact that we're finally getting to hear our stories kind of the way they really are. Make sure you pick up Original Gangsters, which is now available on Amazon and other places where they actually still sell books. And as always, for more music and news, visit hiphopdx.com.